Good evening, and welcome to the Cathedral of St. Philip. I am Canon Lauren Holder, one of the clergy here at the Cathedral, and I'm here to welcome you to my home on this Monday, Thursday. We, like you, are worshiping from home this evening. We will be washing feet, we will be sharing a meal, we will be remembering Jesus doing the same with his friends. Our preacher tonight is the Reverend Canon Kathy Zappa, and my partners in liturgy are my family, my husband and children. And while tonight's service is pre-recorded, it is not fully scripted, though sometimes I wish it were. So welcome, we're glad you're here. Come and worship with us this evening, remembering Jesus' Last Supper. Bless the Lord who forgives all our sins. God's mercy endures forever. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty Father, whose dear Son, on the night before he suffered, instituted the sacrament of his body and blood, mercifully grant that we may receive it thankfully in remembrance of Jesus Christ our Lord, who in these holy mysteries gives us the pledge of eternal life and who now lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. The Word of the Lord.
us with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. Neighbors are rich and poor. Neighbors are black and white. Neighbors are nearby and far away. Jesus. with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. These are the ones we should serve. These are the ones we should love. All our neighbors to us and you. Jesus, with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. Loving puts us on our knees, serving as though we were slaves. This is the way we should live with you. Jesus, with your love. Show us how to serve the neighbors we have from you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Now before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The devil had already put into the heart of Judas, son of Simon Iscariot, to betray him. And during supper, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, You do not know what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who has bathed does not need to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you, for he knew who was going to betray him. And for this reason, he said, not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet and put on his robe and returned to the table, he said to them, do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set for you an example that you should go and do as I have done to you. Very truly I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. Now the Son of Man has been glorified and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, now I say to you, 
Where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Good evening, and welcome again to the Cathedral of St. Philip in this Maundy Thursday liturgy. On this holy evening, we gather together with Jesus' disciples on the night he was betrayed. We gather with Christians across time and across the world. We gather with this cathedral family and tonight with the Holder family in their home. We gather around one table to give thanks, to pray, to offer our gifts, the fruits of our labor, to share a meal, to listen to Jesus again, and to remember. Yes, we remember how Christ loved us and gave himself for us in offering and sacrifice to God. We remember Jesus's gift of himself and of the Holy Eucharist at this Last Supper. We remember his washing of his disciples' feet in love and his teaching them to do the same, to love one another as Christ loved them. We remember the ordinary everydayness of these rituals that we do together, we participate in together on Monday, Thursday. And with that vision, we remember also the sacredness of the ordinary rituals and tasks and moments of our own every day. On this particular Monday, Thursday, on this particular evening, we, all of us, all of you, are welcomed into the home of Canon Lauren Holder and her family. And we are welcomed into their ordinary, their regular routine of making dinner together on Friday night. We've seen already the parents trying to balance the task of getting dinner together before everything falls apart with the joy of preparing dinner with two young children. We see the children learning about and tasting different cheeses, learning about assembling a pizza and taking turns and washing hands. We see the whole family sharing all kinds of stories from their own day and listening to each other and looking for utensils that may or may not have been put back in the right place. It's also perfectly imperfect, and it is so holy. These tasks and routines that we all do every day, the holy attention that we give to this moment, this routine, this practice, this task, this person, can be extraordinary acts of love and humility, hospitality, and service. After supper, Jesus got up from the table and he tied a towel around his waist and knelt down to wash his disciples' feet, dusty, dirty, tired feet, just as you'll see Canon Holder and her family do shortly. What you won't hear though, because you'll be hearing beautiful music, what you won't hear is her daughter when Lauren kneels down to wash those little feet, her daughter says jubilantly, I want to wash your feet too. Lauren is a good listener. And so she asks, why? Why do you want to wash my feet? And her daughter answers, because you're my favorite. You're both my favorite. Speaking of her mother and her father. In other words, because I love you so, so much. Because I love you. 
we serve one another. We kneel before the wonder of another beloved human being because Christ loved us and showed us how to love humbly, vulnerably, selflessly, fully, fully, like a three-year-old child who loves with abandon. I could, I could talk a lot about all the ways that this simple, ordinary Monday Thursday liturgy speaks to me as it is celebrated in a home. But I do a lot of talking and analyzing already. So instead of offering another interpretation now, I'd like to offer an invitation. I invite you to enter into this story, this ritual with the wonder of a three-year-old or five-year-old. Pull up your chair to this table that we all share and pray with us and let the Spirit pray in you. Be fully present to this sacred moment, this sacred community. Be fully present to God and to whoever you are with. That's what I invite you to this evening, to rest in this ritual, this liturgy, to rest in and to receive and to share the love of Christ. Our rituals are resting places that we don't have to understand. We just experience them and are shaped by them and we let the Spirit pray in us through them. So with that, let's make our way to the table. But first, let's wash up. First, we remember the command, the mandatum, from which we get the term Maundy Thursday. First, we remember the teaching that Jesus gives his disciples as he washes their feet after dinner. Love one another as I have loved you. You may want to get some water and a towel and prepare to wash the feet of a loved one and give thanks, deep, deep thanks to those who love you so much and who are brave and kind enough to wash your feet as well. Or if you're alone, wash your own feet, remembering that we should be as kind and gentle and loving to our own souls as we are to others. That God loves you. God loves you and God loves others through you. Wherever you are, there is love because there is God. Where true love is, Christ himself is there. Christ loves you, and so do we. Amen. The Lord Jesus, after he had supped with his disciples and had washed their feet, said to them, do you know what I, your Lord and Master, have done to you? I have given you an example that you should do as I have done. Peace is my last gift to you. My own peace I now leave with you. Peace which the world cannot give, I give to you. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Peace is my last gift to you. My own peace I now leave with you. Peace which the world cannot give, I give to you. By this shall the world know that you are my disciples, that you have love for one another.
I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Peace is my last gift to you. My own peace I now leave with you. Peace which the world cannot give, I give to you. By this shall the world know that you are my disciples, that you have love for one another. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace. 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 Peace be with you. And welcome again and again and again and again to the Cathedral of St. Philip in this Maundy Thursday liturgy. And thank you. Thank you for gathering with us wherever you are, for praying with us, for remembering together Christ and his way of love. A special thank you also to Canon Lauren Holder and Jay Holder and their wonderful children. Thank you for welcoming us all into your home tonight and offering this intimate experience of Maundy Thursday and helping us experience, helping us see and hear this story again in a new way. I hope that you all will join us throughout the rest of this Holy Week. Join us tomorrow as this liturgy really continues tomorrow in the Good Friday service, which will be online at 12 p.m. and 7 p.m. And it continues all the way to Easter Day. So join us again on Sunday at 6 a.m. in the morning or 8.45 or 11.15 and pray with us. We turn now to Eucharist, to spiritual communion, to a holy meal, a love feast. And we all have something to prepare. We all have something to offer. So wherever you are, gather up your offering, whether it's joy or sadness, the fruits of your labor, prayers, whatever it is, gather it up and offer it to God. And know that you receive these gifts. God returns these gifts to us blessed. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right to give God thanks and praise always and everywhere because we see God in our world always and everywhere. God created everything. God loves everything. <gasps> what are some things that God's created? Um, she created everything, every people, every car, and every truck, every toy. Wow. And, and every dog. And every yeah. dog. Charlie, where do you see God? In and every cat. Um, and everything. You see God in everything? Yeah. Yeah. What about when we play um, I Spy? Um, I, I see him. God um, when, when we're running around. I see her pop out of her, my heart sometimes. Yeah. And when she pops out of my heart, that sometimes that's when she was my dad. Or yeah, whenever you're feeling those feelings, God, you know that God is in your heart? Yeah. And you were telling me earlier that you're never alone because God is always with you. And so we thank God for always being with us, for creating this amazing world, for creating this family, for creating all of the things that helped us make the food that we ate tonight, <laughs> the yummy pizza that you guys made. And we thank God for sending Jesus to be oh, a person in our world who yes, taught us I how to... Me. That's not your wine, that's your water. And we thank God for sending Jesus to be with us, to teach us how to love one another. And so with all of the saints and angels, we join the saints and angels in proclaiming, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And... Tonight, we remember that God saves us and that God redeems us. 
and we are going to remember especially that we are remembering that Jesus having supper with his friends and Jesus had supper with his friends a lot Jesus did a lot of things at supper time right had a lot of conversations at supper time but we're remembering a special supper tonight this is the last supper that Jesus had with his friends and when he did that they had some wine water and they had some yeah they probably had some water they had some some bread and no milk and probably not any milk that's right probably not pizza but they had some wine and they had some bread and Jesus had just washed his disciples feet the way we just washed each other's feet to teach the disciples how to love one another. And so, Father, we bring to you these gifts, this bread and this wine. And we ask that you would sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of Jesus Christ our Lord. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread. <laughs> And he said the blessing, and he broke it, and he gave it to his friends, and he said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And then after supper, he took the cup of wine. A glass like that. He took the cup of wine, and he gave thanks, and he said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Father, we now celebrate the memorial of your son. By means of this holy bread and cup, we show forth the sacrifice of his death and proclaim his resurrection until he comes again. Gather us by this holy communion into one body in your son, Jesus Christ. Make us a living sacrifice of praise. By Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. 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 Now can we eat the challah? We can eat the challah. And, but first, we're going to say the gifts of God for the people of God. Take them, remembering that Christ died for you and Christ's love for you, and feed on Him with thanksgiving in your hearts. One second. Wherever you are at this time, please receive the gifts of God in whatever form God makes them available to you. We share spiritual communion today.
Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord, to him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God. Now my tongue the mystery telling of the glorious body seen and the blood of Christ excelling which the Gentiles Lord and King once on earth among us dwelling shed for this world's ransom be. Given for us and condescending to be born for us below, he with us in converse blending dwelt the seed of truth to sow, till he closed with wondrous ending his most patient life of woe. That last night at supper lying, mid the twelve his chosen band, Jesus with the law complying, keeps the feast its rites demand. Then more precious food supplying, gives himself with his own hand. Word made flesh, the bread he takes, by his word his flesh to be. Wine his sacred blood he maketh, though the senses fail to see. Faith alone the true heart waketh, to behold the mystery. Therefore we before him bending this great sacrament reveal. Types and shadows have their ending, for the newer right is here. Faith our outward sense befriending makes our inward vision clear. Glory let us give and blessing to the Father and the Son. On our thanks and praise addressing while eternal ages run. Ever to his love confessing, who from both with both is.